Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Hey, it was awesome. You tried though. Thank How's you. your husband? He's fine, he's fine. Uh -uh, what welcome. about your husband and uh, Oluchi? Uh, I sent Oluchi to the market. My husband went to see his friend. Okay. Uh, no. Wow, thank you. I have some things in the boots. Uh, if there are things I can carry, I will yes, carry for you. Carry. No. Thank you. Uh, you tried though. <laughs> Only you. Yes, sister. Uh -uh. Welcome. Thank you. Hey! Grace! Mm. You bought all these things for us. You have not changed. They, of course, they are for you. God will bless <laughs> you when they... You should know the next plan is to... You should, you should have a plan by now. Now that you finish your work, another life has started. Arinze, this is not about me. It is about us. So what move do you think I should take? Um, okay. Uh, okay, I think you should learn trade in this village. <laughs> trade? Yes. But my father doesn't have money to pay for that. Oh, well, I... I've heard my mother saying that I'll go to the city to stay with her sister and learn a good trade. Why are you like this? Oh, listen, see, we've come a long way. And I wouldn't want to lose you. Please. I, say, I understand. I understand. Learning trade in this village will make me have my eyes on you. If you travel now, how am I going to cope? Uh, Arinze, I have thoughts of it. I have. Oluchi, you don't have to go. I cannot cope if you travel. Okay, then why did you accept? Eh? Don't you know that going to the city will automatically separate our love? I mean, say, nothing can separate us. I can't afford missing you just for a day. Please. Are you saying you're not going to the city anymore? I am not going. I only told you what my mother said. And what did you, what did you say when she told you? <laughs> I am not going. I'm just pulling your legs. You're not going to the city? I am not going. You mean it? I am not going. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Ah. Hello, hello. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know how to thank you. This news that you have brought is the best that has happened to me for a long while now. Yes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> God will bless you, eh? Amen. Papa Oluchi, I've sincerely thought about it. Since Oluchi has written our egg, let her come over with me to the city. <laughs> At least, let me take that as my responsibility. It will serve as a way of reciprocating what you and my sister have done for me. Hey. When I had nothing. <laughs> oh, Gracie Barry. God will continue to bless you for me. Hey. hey, you know when you said that thing, eh? I thought you were joking. I'm not even not serious. Hi, thank you. It's nothing, sister. Uh uh, it is something. Oh, mm -mm. it is something. It is a big relief for us. You know, we were thinking what would become our daughter's fate when she finishes writing her exams. Yeah. Oh, look at it now. God has answered our prayers through you. Of a truth. It's a big relief that you have brought for us. Yes, sir. <sighs> Fact, thank you. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. The only hey. thing remaining now is for you to call her. It's good to hear from her also. Yeah. So that she can start preparing. 
for the travel. Does she have a choice? Ah, she doesn't have a choice. She will go. <laughs> she will go with you. <laughs> if it were you, will you not be happy to, to go to the city? Mm. Eh? You want her to remain in this village where nothing good wants to come out from. So that all those boys with their hawk eyes will be running after her to destroy her destiny. Don't worry. Eh? See, don't worry. Eh? I'm certain that she will go. I hope so. I hope so. What are you even doing in this village? There is no light here. So you will follow your auntie to the city, oh? Mm. But mama, how can you take such decision without informing me? Nobody took any decision. Your auntie had already told us since that when you finish taking your wife, that she will come and take you to the city. And that is the reason she's here. No, yes, it's ah, true. Ah. Ah. Mama, I am no longer a baby. I have my own decision to take. Auntie Grace, I am sorry. I don't have any plans to leave this village in the next five years. Ah, can't get out. Shut up. Shut that your mouth. What's that? Eh? Listen, we are your parents. And we can take decisions on your behalf when it is necessary. We know what is good for you, Oluchi. Okay, Nido. Prepare and follow your auntie to the city. And uh, Mama, what do you think is good for me? Leaving this village when you know that I'm not ready. I cannot banter words with you. If you go to that city, you will go with your auntie. Oluchi, I understand how you feel. It's the same way I felt when I was leaving the village to the city. You will miss your friends. <laughs> Auntie Grace, this is not about my friends, so it is not though. Okay, what is it? You are not only coming to stay with me in the city, but you are going to learn a trade. Inugia, have you heard it? Bia, Oluchiku, please, don't let this golden opportunity slip you by. Please, I'm begging you. You will go to that city with her. Agwacha Gukwangi. Oluchi, you don't have to go. I cannot cope if you travel. Okay, then why did you accept? Eh? Don't you know that going to the city will automatically separate our life? But Mama, can we talk about another thing? We should forget about the city. Hey, Mama, are you okay? You must go to the city. Whether you like it or not, you will go. I'm sorry, I'm not going. Come back here, sir. Come back here. Sister, it's okay. It's okay. Don't bother yourself with that. I will talk to her. Talk to her? I will. Because that city, she must go with you. I will talk to her. Ah, what is she doing here? What is she doing here? Don't let that bother you. I will talk to her. Huh? What is she getting here? Hmm. Aluchi, you need to come with me to the city. Nothing good happens here. There is more to life in the city than you see here in the village. You need to travel out and see things for yourself. After all, seeing is believing. Yeah? Auntie, it is not as safe I don't want to follow you to the city or to stay with you. I really want to, but... De then, what's the problem? Tell me. Auntie, this is too sudden. I didn't plan for it. And besides, I need to tell some persons before I can make such a move. Huh. I know, you have a boyfriend. Yes, Auntie. <laughs> and he doesn't want you to travel. Auntie, not really, not really. Then discuss with him. I hear what he has to say. Oluchi, I was once a girl like you. I understand how you feel. <laughs> Traveling to the city will not stop whatever you both have in common. Okay? I want you to discuss with him. Eh? I'm sure he will be happy about it when he hears it. Okay? Okay, Auntie, I, I will try. Oh, you will. You will be happy, you know? Just try and talk to him. I feel it in 
God, what do I do now? How do I tell Arinze that I'll be leaving the village for city to learn a trade? A trade that I have already told him that I was pulling his legs. How will he feel if I return with this talk? He will, he will feel very disappointed. But I love him and I cannot afford to lose him. He is the only man I have known all my life. I can't stay one day without seeing him. I am so confused. What do I do? Do I leave to tell him? Okay, I know what to do. I am not going anywhere. Going out. Ah. Uh, please, if anybody come looking for me, tell the person to wait. I'll be right back. Ah, and the person should wait. Yes, ma'am. If the person cares to wait, oh, become. you like this what is wrong with you you're, you're not looking bright at all what, what what is it talk to me eh baby talk to me now what what is it now talk you're getting me scared I uh -huh. see something talk my parents want me to go to the city and learn a trade Seriously? My auntie just returned back to the village and she wants me to go and stay with her and learn a trade. What did you tell her? Hey, Guaya, what did you tell her? I don't just know what to tell her. I am confused. Hey. Please. Only don't tell me you are planning to leave me in this village and go to the city. Only don't, only don't, don't just tell me that. Arinze, how can you say a thing like that? I can't leave you. I'd rather kill myself than to make you sad. You're already making me sad. I'm already feeling bad. Eh? You're, you're, you're there planning how to leave me in this village and go, okay, go ahead and do whatever you wish. No, 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 go ahead and do and, and do your wish. Arinze, what Hi. wish are you talking about? Eh? You're making me angry now. Yeah, how can you do this? Eh? Okay, okay, see, listen, listen, I want you to put this in your head. Holy, I love you so much. I would, I would never do anything to hurt you. See, very soon I am going to gather money and, and come and marry you. Yes, I'll come and marry you. Okay, but please, please don't do what you're planning to do. Please, Holy, please don't leave me in this village and go to the city, please. I would not. I love you so much. Hi. I will not leave you. Please. 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 Please.
Better go into that house now and start packing your things. Tomorrow morning you are leaving for the city with your auntie. Papa, I am not going to anywhere. I am not going to any city. Yo. Will you shut up? When did you start growing such wings? No, I'm her father and I'm going to cut those wings of yours. Papa, if you want to kill me, kill me. I'm not going to anywhere. Then be prepared to die. Till then, Papa. You are mad stopping me in this house. And I can't I rest. I want to move. Bia, 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 Aluchi. Aluchi, you know, Wala. The oil is in this bag. Mm. Okay, sister. Okay, sister. Thank you. Thanks for your sister. Yeah. We are more grateful. Mm. Uh. Thank you. Uh -huh. Who this one? Uh -huh. Sister, thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Oh, don't mention. It's my you pleasure. Everything you have done for us. Thank you too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't know how to thank you, but God will bless you for us. Eh? Amen. Amen. Thank you. Like I said before, yeah. if Oluchi eventually changes her mind, yeah. don't hesitate to call me. Ah. Okay? We will definitely call you. <laughs> I will call you. Hmm? <laughs> definitely. Right. But uh, I must assure you, she will not be resistant. Okay, I hope mm. so. She, she come. <laughs> I hope so. My husband is already calling me. I have to leave now. Yeah. Huh? Thank you. Thank you. I will. Go for My son, it's been exactly 12 months now since you returned from the city after learning a trade. Oh, you're right. I think it's time you go back to the city and start a business. Papa, you see, going back to the city is not a problem. The problem here is the money. Going back to the city requires money. And I know there is no money around us in this house. So how do we do it? I understand. You see, I've been making contributions for over one year. And I thank God for that. The contribution money is going to be shared this week, Sunday. Okay. Once I get my own share of the contribution, I will give you the money so you can go back to the city and start a business. Okay? Uh, this is what I can do for you as a father. Hey, thank you, Nani. I'm very, very happy. This is what a good husband should do for his son. I'm so glad to have you as my husband. Hey, I'm very, very happy. Papa, thank you. Oh, that's all right. Hey. Thank you so much. Thank God you. bless you. Yes, don't mention it at all. Um, like I said, it's what I can do for you as a father. So get your things together because any moment from now, you'll be off to the city mm. to start your business. Thank you. Thank you.
Bye bye. Bye bye. Is anybody at home? Ah, Mama. Ma. My daughter, how are you? I'm fine, ma. Mama, is Arin's at home? Arin's? Yes, ma. No, he's not uh, around. He traveled to the city yesterday. Mama, what do you mean? Arin's and my son traveled to the city yesterday to start his business. Uh, didn't he tell you? No, Mama. Mama, tell me you are joking. How can Arin's travel without telling me? Joking. No, my daughter, I'm not joking. It is true. He has gone back to the city to start his business. Marisa. What is it? Marisa has killed me, Marisa. What has he done? What's that mean now? Mama. What has he done? Oluchi. What is it now? Marisa. Marisa. Marisa has finished me. What has he done? Mama! <laughs> You are crying. You have not even started. This is just the beginning. Look at you. You decided to disobey your parents because of a boy. Now what is happening? He has abandoned you. And you are here crying. Ngwa! Cry more! Cry more! Shift! Move inside because I'm not lying. Cry! But mama... How could he have done this to me? Ah, Juju? Question! <laughs> Ask me again. Ask me! Well, it is not too late though. I'm sure you must have learned your lesson. Go inside and pack your things. Hey. I will call my sister and tell her that you're coming over. Go and pack. Hey, Arinze. Arinze, why? Arinze. He can remember Arinze, why? I don't know what your father will do or say when he comes back. Oh. <laughs> mm. uh, Mama, what do you say I should do? I said you should go inside, pack your things. Let me call your auntie that you're coming over. That is what I have said. Nay, hmm? is he not going through? It's ringing, but nobody is speaking. Hello? Hello, sister? Hello? Nyam, nyam, give it to me. Hold I want on. to Hello? I want to talk to you. Take now. Huh? Hello? Good morning, sister. Morning, Grey, Grey. How are you? I'm fine. How is everybody? Everybody is fine. Um, I just want to tell you that Oluchi has finally decided to come and stay with you in the city. When are you coming to pick her up? Wow, sister, she has to hold on for now. Huh? She has to hold on for now, sister, please. Eh? Why? You don't want to come and carry her again? Uh, not that I don't want her to come and stay with me. But some certain things came up which I need to put in place before she can come over. Is there any problem? Um, sister, not really. But it's only that 
There is this thing that my husband has been chasing for a long time, and uh, it has finally worked out. He, he wants to travel abroad. And All the arrangement has been put in place. You see, sister, and we still need a huge amount of money to pay for the necessary documents. You see. Sister, please tell Oluchi to bear with me. Before this year runs out, I will see what I can do about her. Sister, please, if I've disappointed you, forgive me. I'm so sorry. Please, I'm sorry. Bear with me. Huh? Um, it's okay. Thank you. Hey! How? Have you seen it? Have you seen what your stubbornness has cost you? What did she say? Eh? No, she said that Oluchi should hold on. In short, from what I understood, all which is going to the city to stay with her will not be possible again. You see? You see what I was saying? Your miserable life, you want to keep it in this village and stay here. You don't want any betterment in your whole life. Carry your head like that of a, a, a baboon. Eh? Where are you going to? Go. See? See your tongue. Bring it out. Oluchi, when was the last time you saw your monthly visitor? Mama, what kind of question is that? Shut up your mouth. Make sure you are asking your mother what kind of question is that? Eh? What kind of question is that? Oluchi, you are pregnant. Mama, I won't. Awesome, what? I'm telling you that you're pregnant and you're telling me what? Why are you asking me that? What do you mean by what? It's him, man. Ah, pregnant. Oh, Luchi has finally killed me. Oh, Luchi has killed me. Oh, Luchi, you are pregnant. It's him, man. Hey! Oh, Luchi. It okay. is good we met you here. Good. We were actually on our way to your house. Your son. Your son has killed me. And what do you mean my son has killed you? Like, what business do you have with my son? Your son has finished me. Agnes, people, were you in a good book? Please, come down and let us understand what you mean. I don't understand you. Your son got my daughter pregnant. He couldn't control that long cassava in between his legs. Now he has gotten my daughter pregnant. Agnes, uh, 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 what you're saying is in fact laughable. What do you mean it's laughing? Is it possible? What do you mean is it's not possible? Is there a reason not to your son? Is he not a man? Eh? Which one is not possible? Is he not a man? Eh? What I'm saying is that, is it my own son or is it or someone else? Like my you. responsible son or another son or someone else? How many Arises do you have? Eh? It is Arise now! He's the one. Tell them, tell them, he's the one. Oluji, I can see that you are very confused. Yes, you are confused. Go, 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 go. Don't mention my responsible child. To be somebody I can do something. I know my own reason. I'm not doing something. I trust myself. 
Ma'am, ma'am, let's see to the next please. You see, our reason, my son, is a well brought up boy from a fresh country. Family, well trained. You understand? And my son is not one of these useless boys that go from one corner of the village to the other, luring girls like this to bed. No. And I can swear to you, dear, heaven and act, that my son has never had carnal knowledge of your daughter. Okay? And maybe it's because they have heard that my son is doing very well now in the city. And I think that is what is prompting this nonsense. You now come and accuse my son of irresponsible girl with irresponsible pregnancy and irresponsible family. You want to stay and spoil the name of my family. Please, I warn you at this. Stay clear of this responsible and, uh, and, and, and respected family. Please, we are going to check on my in-law, my wife's uh, mother that is sick. And you are here disturbing us. I don't want to hear it again. Never will you say this type of thing. Take care of you. Look at you. Funny girl. You lay it about without getting married. Nonsense. Look at her. Your beauty is for nothing. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm going to see my in-law. That is not feeling very fine. Look at her. How can people be so irresponsible in their time? Irresponsible people. Have you seen it? And we go and tell your father. What kind of nonsense is this? Call it be irresponsible. Call it our family irresponsible. All because of you. Because of you. You see it. Who can be insult? Stop following me, my friend. That is not possible. It is not possible. How can Anthony deny that his son is not the one that impregnated my daughter? Eh? Nay. You needed to have seen the way those people spoke to me. Spoke to you? I don't blame them. I blame you and this is your stupid daughter. Moa. Yes, you. Man, please forgive me. You are telling me to forgive you. I don't even know where to start from. I don't know where to start from. Go to the town, the city, and stay with your auntie. Mm -hmm. No. Make yourself useful in this place. This is the result. You know me. You know me. You know what I can do. You know me. My enemies have finally gotten me. What will I tell the Christian mothers? That my daughter got pregnant without a husband? Hey! Hey! You are here shedding crocodile tears. Eh? Shed it well, oh. See? Just pray to your God. Pray that Irene comes back to this village to accept the Pregnancy. Otherwise, you know me now. You know what I can do. You already should know what I would do. Nonsense. Excuse me. That is really what the problem is. You have killed me. You have finished me up finally. So this is how you are paying me for everything I have done for you. Huh? This is the way you're paying us back for making you finish school. Thank you. Mama, please forgive me. It is the devil's work. Mm -hmm. The devil's work. Now Ariza has abandoned you. The devil's work indeed. You could go. You have killed yourself, not me. Mama, I swear with my life. I've never slept with any man except Arinze. He is the only one in my life. Mama, please forgive me. Just leave me alone. Mama. Just leave me alone. You have killed Mama, me. Mama, please. Mama, come Hey. It could be network problem. But are you sure you still have money in that phone? Yes, I, I recharged this phone this morning. But you know, we 
really need to hear from him uh, so that we know his own side of the story. Nay, nah, his own side of story. Even if we did not hear from him, I already know that he's innocent. I know he cannot be his name. Uh, are you sure of what you're saying? Are you sure? The monkey says she can only swear for the uh, baby she's carrying in her stomach. Not the one that she's carrying on her back. So how sure are you? I know my son. I cannot do such a thing now. Okay. You cannot do a thing like that. So is the girl uh, insane or, or she's blind not to know who made her pregnant? Uh, uh, nine. You talk as if you don't know girls of nowadays. Maybe the girl has feeling for a reason. And she thought that she could use this pregnancy to, you know, come into our responsible family. Yes, you could be right. You could be right because these girls these days, uh, irresponsible family wants to come to a responsible family. It will not work. Mm. I think you're right. No, I'm very right. If it is true, Arinza our son would have told us before leaving to the city. Yes, that's true. That's very true. You see, this young girl wants to spoil the name of this very responsible family. But she has failed. She better go and plan. <laughs> she has failed because I'm sure our son did not do that. I am very sure. Because Arinze told me that he plays with everybody, including guests, but has nothing to do with any of them. What are you doing here all by yourself? Nothing, Mama. You're crying. Listen, crying will not solve this matter. I am a woman like you. I understand how you feel. Mama, Arinze is the only man I have known. If I tell you, I don't believe you out there. Anyway, trust your father. He will get to the root of this whole thing. Okay? So, Mama, what do I do now? Your father will be seeing his parents tomorrow. Let us wait and know what the outcome is. Hmm? It's getting too late. Come, let's go. Inside. your husband? Anthony! Anthony! Who is that? Who is that? Can you come over here? Come out and see the person. Come out and see the person. Uh, uh, you are welcome to my house. Just keep your welcome to yourself. I don't need it. A man whose house is on fire does not go about chasing rats. Zeribe, please uh, calm down. This is my house. Calm down and speak to me in plain language. Oh! I should talk to you in a plain language. Eh? I should talk to you in a plain language. You want to pretend that you don't know that I have a reason for coming here? Your son got my daughter pregnant and ran to the city. See, if he has been doing this before with other people, he cannot go away scot free with me. <laughs> I am surprised at you. Very surprised at you that you came here to shout over something that is not true. And you know it's not true. Oh, you are saying it's not true. You are saying it's not true. 
Which one is not true? That your son ran to the city or that my daughter is pregnant? Which one is not true? Your daughter is confused. Huh? She doesn't know who made her pregnant. A girl that moves from one street to the other, from one corner of the village to the other. Huh? How can she come and say that my responsible son uh, got her pregnant? What's all that? She's confused. Oh, that is what you are saying. Yes. That is what you are saying. Anthony, Anthony, you are pushing me to the wall. You are pushing me to the wall. And by the time I bounce back, you will not like it. You will not like it. See, just call your son to come back to the village and take full responsibility of that pregnancy. No, it's not possible. Our son is not responsible for your child's pregnancy. Oh, is she a child or is she a baby? Eh? No, in our room, go and ask your daughter who made her pregnant. And don't go about spoiling my son's name. This family is responsible and my son is also a responsible child. You open your mouth to say that, Abby. You open this your big mouth to, to, to talk like that. It's okay. Look, uh, see, please, please, please. I don't like the way you came into this responsible and very calm home to start shouting, shouting like a madman. Look at the way you're talking to my wife. Eh? This is somebody's wife. Are you? Is there something wrong with you? Zeribe, please, if this is just what you came here to do, to shout and make noise about your irresponsible daughter, please, just leave my compound, please. Just leave. I don't want... Let, let us be calm and, 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 and uh, uh, humble home and... Uh, I don't know. Oh, oh just, so just leave. Get out of this compound. Oh, I should get out? Yes. It has gotten to that. I should get out? Yes. No problem. You will hear from me. You have just stepped on a viper if you don't know. That's what you have done. You will hear from me. I will be waiting for to you hear, will hear from, from me. To hear the person that got your child pregnant. I will be waiting. Irresponsible daughter uh, from an irresponsible father. No. What a shame. You should be ashamed of yourself that you come here to advocate for your useless daughter that is moving from one corner of the village to the other and getting pregnant. Hopeless and useless man with a useless daughter. Instead of you to hold your daughter, give her proper flogging. Eh, of the cane. You are here. You are not ashamed to come here and start to advocate for your daughter who made her pregnant and who did not make her pregnant. Hopeless, irresponsible and useless family. Anthony and his wife, they want to tell me. They want to tell me. And I'm going to show to them why I'm called in Zeribe. But what did he say? Is he still defending his son? Don't mind that fool. That idiot. He has the guts to say that his son is not responsible for our daughter's pregnancy. When you... Eh? Whereas he has not even made an effort to talk with him or to hear from him. Hey, hi. So, Nai, what do we do now? Eh? Our daughter cannot be lying to us. She doesn't tell lies. Well, I will try and talk with the Umuna and see what they can do about it. Hey, thank you, Nai. That is very good. I know that the Umuna will settle this case. The Umuna will tell him to. Bring his son back wherever he has gone to. <laughs> it is good, better. This is good. You are here saying it's good, Abby. You are here saying it is good. Do you know the shame your daughter has brought to me? See. Tell her to pray hard. Tell her to pray very hard. That Arise comes and accepts that he is the one who is responsible for that pregnancy. Else. I'm going to give her body, her corpse, to the vulture. Hey, 
I? That wood is too strong. Hey! I'm finished. Take it easy on yourself. Crying will not settle anything. You're only harming yourself. Amara, what other harm is greater than this? My father will kill me. All oh, wait. <laughs> wait until you hear from Marinzi. His parents are just the ones saying this. Wait until you hear from him. Nay, and I know Arinze will not deny you. Amara. You don't know what I'm passing through in my house. My father wouldn't let me be. I understand. <laughs> but you can't blame him. Hmm? No father will be happy to know that his daughter is pregnant out of wedlock. How can hmm? I explain this? I don't know what came over me. <laughs> Come, neighbor. Sorry to ask this. Are you very sure Arunze is responsible for this pregnancy? Amara, you know me. Arunze is the only one that has seen my nakedness. Mm. They have nothing to worry about. Eh? You have absolutely nothing to worry about. You said your father wants to report the matter to Muna. Good and fine. And I'm very <laughs> sure they will also send for Arunze. Arunze? Arinze has killed me. Oh Amara, look at me. It's okay. Why don't you also go now? Take it easy. Honey, this is not the end of life. But have you tried calling him yourself? Yes, I have done that. But his number is not reachable since he left the village. I don't know where he is. No, okay. I don't know what I have done to him it's that okay. makes him to abandon me it's like okay. this. It's okay. Hey! It's okay. Come on. It's okay. Come on. Okay. My brothers, you're welcome. Yes, sir. Anthony. Huh? I greet you. This shows that you like me so much because our people say that. Anyone that meets you while you're eating likes and loves you so much. Please join me. Let me call my wife so that she can bring spoon and just and chair so that we can sit down. And you. Hey, my that, that will be next time. As you know, whatever chest rabbit out of it all on brother light is greater than the rabbit. Yes. Yeah, that is how I prove our problem. That's the truth. So you see. We will neither eat nor drink until our mission of coming to your house this afternoon is set is started. That is right. Let me not look as if I'm ignorant of our tradition. It is said that the messenger must not eat or drink until he has delivered his message. Hey, Mark, eh? no. So please, please, my brothers, what brings you to my house? <clears throat> Anthony. You see, our people used to say that when the load on the head becomes too heavy for the head, it quickly transfers it to the shoulder. Nzeribe reported you to Domon now. What did he say I did to him? It is not part of our mission to discuss the issue here or now. The Omona will gather in your house in three days' time. That will be when the issue will be discussed. It's all right, I've had you. Uh, I will be ready to host the Omona in my house. Yeah, That's thank all. You. Thank, you. thank you. Until then, we'll be on our way. Won't you? As you have delivered the message, now you can eat. There's more food in the house. Thank Please, you, let's. Never mind, never mind. Not to worry. We will. Thank you, thank you. Thank, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Huh? Anthony, thank you very much. You can resume your food. Ha. This is the worst Nzeribe can do. I would be ready to meet them and host the woman. Somebody who cannot control his daughter. No problem.
What happened? You didn't eat your food. I am not hungry. How can you not be hungry when you asked me to go and cook it? Huh? What is it? I just told you I'm not hungry. I've lost my appetite. I cannot eat. Appetite is what? Yes. Now what is it again? Eh? No, just, just tell me. Tell me. Is there anything that Oluchi has asked for that I, the father, has not provided for her? No, tell me. I saved up small, small money to be able to see her through her secondary school. You tried. You tried. All that I get now is for her to bring shame to my family. Bring disgrace upon me. Nani, I have begged you over and over. To forget about this thing. Don't let it bother you too much. Hmm? Oh, I should not let it bother me. You know what is even most annoying now? Anthony, Anthony has the guts to tell me to walk out of his house. No, forget about Anthony. No. Eh? Forget about him. You have reported the case to Omona. <laughs> let them handle it. Let me see how Anthony will not bring out his son from his hiding place. Eat your food. Forget them. Eat. Nimpo Akasi. Why would I look bright? The elders came to this place to inform me that the elders will be gathering over the issue of uh, Nzeribe's uh, daughter's pregnancy or no pregnancy in three days' time. And I've been calling our son, trying to call him, but the phone is not connected. Eh? If we, I don't talk to him, I don't hear from him, where do I stand? What will I tell the elders? No, this is serious, sir. This is very, very serious. Sir. This is very, very serious. Very serious because if we don't hear from him, we will be. Uh, what are we going to tell the elders? We will be compelled to, to do whatever Zeribe says we should do. We need to hear from him. We, are, we decide that we produce him that day or whatever music they play, we will, play, we will dance it. Nani, that is not the case. Uh, what we should be worried is about to hear from our son that left this village for almost uh, some time now. We have not heard from him. Not about uh, Zeriba and his family's problem. Well, you, you don't seem to understand what, what, what is going on. You don't seem to understand it. best of friends and, and there is nothing he does that he don't know also there is nothing you do that he doesn't know am I right you are correct mama good now I ask you uh, this issue of uh, uh, Jeribe's daughter saying that uh, Arisa got her pregnant. How true is it? Do you think my son did it? Um, Mama, this matter is so complicated. Yes. Because if I sit down here to tell you that uh, 
Arinze didn't do it. Or oh, telling you that Arinze did it. That means I lie. It's so complicated that I don't even know what to say. How do you mean, my son? Hmm? Yes, because uh, uh, earlier before he traveled to the city, hmm. I have tried to engage him into discussion, asking him on the kind of relationship he had with uh, Oluchi. Mm -hmm. What type of relationship did both of them run? And he only told me that uh, uh, they were just friends and uh, he had a, 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 a holy relationship with Oluchi. So, uh, uh, so I was left with no other words to say. I decided to keep it like that because uh, if he really have anything to do with Oluchi, he would have told me. So I don't know the one to say. That's why I say it is so complicated, Mama. See, this is exactly what he told me. Mm -hmm. Yes, he, he, he told me that. Uh, but I'm surprised at this uh, issue that only Tina came up with, saying that uh, my son impregnated her. Hmm. Why? Hmm. Hmm. Mama, I have my worry. Mm. Yes, my major area of concern is that. Uh, Arinze, phone number has not been going through for some time now. Mm. I have called his number several times, yet it has not been connected. But I wish that his number would just go through. Let me talk to him. Hello? Hello, Arinze? It's me, uh, uh, Eze is talking. Do you have anything like, uh, you know, let me just reconfirm from him then I should be able to know what to say. If what Oluchi is saying is right or not, that's why I don't just, I'm just dumb here. I don't know what to say. That is true, my son. His number has not been going through. Um, anyway, let us just wait and watch how the whole thing will play out. But all I know is that my son, he's very responsible now. My son cannot do such a thing. That's all I know. Your friend has fouled me. Your friend has killed me. Don't blame him yet. It's neither his fault nor yours. You both love yourselves. So where is he now? He should come back and prove the love now. But I am certain that he has not been ever at it. So are you telling me that the parents haven't called me to mm. tell me? It's like you don't understand what they call me. I said, I'm in the yard. Even me, myself, I tried this number. His number wasn't going to. And that's that is just my own one. My doom has finally come. I am scared of going to have an abortion. Wait. Hey. <laughs> Oluji, what did you say? Abortion. Mba. Mba. Oluji. Running out of your senses? Have you not heard that all the guests in our village here that try abortion, that they are all dead? Have you not heard it? So, why do you think that abortion is an option to this matter? So, what do you want me to do now? Relax. Did I hear you say relax? Yes, relax. Let us hear from her in the first. Forget about all these things. His parents just, uh, they are just kind of fascinated. Saying that uh, 
it's, a, it's not responsible for, for your pregnancy. As short term, what are they talking mm -hmm. about? It's only a that has the final say to this matter. I need to come. Is that you sure? It's not all about being sure. I am telling you what I know, the way I know my mother's name. If Arise comes back and hear that you are pregnant for him, ay ay ay, So just relax yourself. You don't know, you don't know what I'm passing through in the hands of my parents. You don't just know. Origin. Why? Getting yourself worked up. Hmm. What is your problem? I have told you that when Ari is a back, he will take the full responsibility of your pregnancy. I am sure of that one. I pray so. In that case, let me start going now. Mm -hmm. You have to go home and catch your eyes. Yeah? Just go home and catch your And then. Um, I am going somewhere, but I'm coming back. <sighs> My dear, I really feel for her. I'm me too. Feel for who? Why will you feel for her? Wait. Sugar is not in this village. I really made her pregnant and went away. That's very unfair. So you've concluded already. How do you know it was Arinze that got her pregnant? Yeah. Why are you guys talking like this? Are you trying to say um, Oluchi is lying against Arinze or she doesn't know who made her pregnant? You've mm -hmm. answered the question yourself already. <laughs> but um, everyone in this village knows that um, Oluchi is Arinze's boyfriend. How are you sure that Arinze was her only boyfriend? We all know about that. <laughs> oh my, you and I know that. <laughs> Everyone is not like you know, you know, that job from one man to another. What did you say? Nkiru, can you explain to me what you just said? I was only joking with you. You better be. Chica, let's go. Let's leave this. Come back now. Come back now. Come back now. Come back now. I'm sure you all know the reason why we are gathered here today. Yes. Zeribe's daughter has accused Anthony's son of putting her into the family way. Antonio, on the other hand, is strongly saying that his son is not responsible for her pregnancy. My question now is, how do we carry a man with a broken waist. <coughs> My people, I greet you all. You see, left with me alone, this issue cannot be resolved without the presence of Anthony's son. Arinze. Yes, Arinze. Arinze has to be here to tell us his own side of story. If what I've been accused of is true or not, so that he can tell his own side of story. Huh? My elders, I greet you. We greet you too. You see, when this uh, issue came up, I kicked against it initially, but 
later I had a divided mind. Because I have not heard from my son since he traveled to the city to start his business and do his trade. Which city did he live for? Which trade? Eh? Arinze, who ran to the city? Eh? Sorry, my son did not run away to the city. My son had traveled to the city to start his trade before this issue came up. Liar. Bloody liar. That is what you are. Uh, elders, you just heard him call me a bloody liar before you. What an irresponsible man. Um, is there a Please, put yourself together. Don't allow temper to take over the greater part of you. Hmm? Put yourself together. together. Um, Anthony. Go ahead and tell us what we are saying. I should allow him to finish what he says. What do you want him to finish? You want me to stay here and continue to hear him tell those lies? Eh? You are all aware that his son left this village for the city because of this incident. Now he is seated down there telling us that his son has left for the city. Who gave him money? Where did he get the money from? He got the money from your daughter's pregnancy. That's what gave him money. Are you hearing him? Hopeless, ir irresponsible man. Okay, okay, okay. please. And, uh, uh, settle down. Sit down. You want me to sit down? Eh? Yes. You want me to sit down? Oh, I should still sit down here to hear him tell all those lies? Zerib. <clears throat> you see, gray hair is not a sign of old age. Because some young people these days have gray hair. We even have artificial hairs. You are an old man, and you are an elder in this community. At every point in time, you should be able to exhibit the senses of an elderly man. So, allow Anthony to say what he wants to say. Please, I beg of you. And Anthony, you may resume your speech. Uh, thank you very much, my fellow elders. You see, when this issue came up, I called my son day and night, day and night, but the phone was not connecting. But thank God, just yesterday, my son called me. And he told me the truth. And I believe him. My son said, I quote, Papa, I don't have anything to do with that girl. I have never touched her. How much more sleeping with her? This girl, Oluchi, is lying against me and want to bring our responsible family to disrepair. That is what he told me before the phone went off. Your son is a fat liar. Very fat liar. And you are there supporting him. You are there supporting him. In fact, may the ghost of this land, Iafo, strike anybody dead that is supporting him. Including you. May uh, Iafo strike you dead, very strike your family please. dead, strike you. Very you are irresponsible. 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 You are an irresponsible. You are an irresponsible. Oh, I'm here. Yes, yes. You, and your daughter. you don't have you money to even you train your son. You have to strike me. Because, 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 eh? Please, please, Zerbe, sit down. You have to kill you. Sit down, Zerbe. What do you want me to sit down for? I should sit down here and continue to hear him tell this lies. Eh? Calm down. This is not the way to go. It's sit okay. Sit down. See? Huh? Oh. I know what to do. We are here. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Anthony, please tell us the truth. Did your son said so? Well, my fellow elders, for the benefit of doubt, let me call my son now and see if it will connect. Papa, good afternoon. Uh, I don't want. Uh, good afternoon. 
Ari, uh, the elders are gathered here to deliberate over this matter of uh, pregnancy with Oluji and no pregnancy with Oluji, the daughter of Arinze. I'm going to put this phone uh, on speaker so you can speak to them directly. Should I go ahead? Go ahead. The phone is now on speaker. My elders, I greet you all. I will greet you too. My elders, that girl Oluji is lying against me. I've never for one day touched her, talked more of sleeping with her. I'm innocent of all her accusations. I'm not too responsible for her pregnancy. The gods of our land will bear me witness. That's all I know and can say for now. Get me that phone. Give me that phone. Nine. He can hear you from there. The phone is on speaker. Ah. Uh, Arinze. Good afternoon. It is me, Ohaka, the father of uh, Okochuku. Yes, nine. Afternoon. Uh, Arinze, are you saying before the elders of Umeme what they accused you of that you know nothing about it? I've never and have nothing to do with her. The gods of our land will bear me witness. Arinze, you are lying. Arinze, you are lying. Arinze, wait, 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 wait. Um, Arinze, Arinze, uh, wait, where are you are now? Can, can you please come home? Can't you come home so that we we'll settle this matter once and for all? Face to face, I'm talking about that. The phone has gone off. Arinze! Arinze! Scott. Arinze, you are lying! Arinze, you are lying! It's not true. Hey! It's lying, you know. Hey, we shall take this matter further. Hey. We shall take this matter further. Hey. Okay. <laughs> What is it? What happened? Arinze has rejected the pregnancy. It's a lie. Huh? Oluchi, why now? Oluchi, why? Hey! I cannot harbor this prostitute in my house. I cannot harbor this prostitute again in my house. Eh? Can you imagine? After all that I have done for you. I have spent money to ensure that you go through secondary school so that you can come out and I will enjoy the goods that you are supposed to give to me. All you have done to me now is to cause me shame. Hey. You have brought shame to my family. Oh. Eh? In fact, I regret not having a male child. Oh. You have killed me. This guy, you have killed me. Hey. I will show you who I am. I will show you who I am. You see that bastard child you have in your stomach? You are not going to stay in this house with me. Never! Never! <laughs> Mama. I'm sorry! I oh, Lord, you're gonna come, man. I'm sorry, Mama. Lord, what did I do to you? Where have I gone wrong, this girl? Where? You know, mm. in those days, mm. when we followed our parents to the first settlement, mm. this used to be our favorite meal. You know, it reminds me of a good old days when men were boys. You can say that again. You know, mm? I ate him. To this thing, I was nicknamed as a Juan of women. Mm. That is true. Mm. Ah, yes, yes. That used to be your your nickname. Mm. 
Um, is it? Where is it? one of Umeme. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those good old days. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Papa, hmm? good afternoon. Mm -hmm. Hi, Doctor. Good afternoon, how are you? Nine. Good afternoon. Hmm. Asa. What? Hey, babe. Mwa, Maka. Hmm? I'm no one for soccer. How do you get one for soccer? Hmm? You have a goddess as a daughter. Hmm? <laughs> She's too beautiful. <laughs> so, so, sometimes, I doubt if she's really your, your daughter. Bia, bia, bia. Ohaka, what did you just say? Uh, Zibre, don't get it twisted. This girl is too beautiful to be your daughter. What did you just say? Oh, that is where your claim is pointing to now. I have not said so. Mm. Uh, please allow me to enjoy this here. Are you not saying that? Because I am not handsome enough, that is why I cannot give birth to this kind of a daughter. I have not said so, Zebra. Mm. It's not what I said. Okay. Eh, uh, eat. See, eh? You see, you see this, my daughter, eh? Hmm? I don't play with her. That is why you see that I'm ensuring to do everything, anything that she wants. I make sure I provide it for her. You know. She has just finished her secondary school. Mm -hmm. And I, I also know that you have started preparing for her a good husband. <laughs> See, eh? Any man mm -hmm. that wants to marry my daughter, huh? he has to be fully prepared, though. <laughs> he has to be fully prepared. <laughs> because I, I know what I have spent on her. Mm -hmm. And I will not be prepared to give my daughter to a nobody. Yes, my friend, you are right. Hey, this girl is too beautiful to go into mm. a wrong hand. Oh, oh my God, they will have to be like one. Oh, oh. What are you doing about this young lady? What do you mean? You are my friend You are my friend. 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 And you, if you don't mind yourself, I will throw you out of this house. What nonsense is this? You think I'm ready to have one prostitute in my house? Nonsense. Nonsense.
for me, this your age is a very dangerous age. Even now, we have boys in the village hovering around looking for who they will destroy their destiny. Luring people like you to have unwanted pregnancies. And anybody who is involved in unwanted pregnancies ends up with death. Do you know why I'm saying so? Papa, why? It is against the tradition of our land. For any doctor of Umuime to become pregnant. If such a thing happens, you attempt to abort it. It's death that you meet with. But Papa, who made those laws? I don't know. It has been here even before I was born. That is why I am talking to you now as my daughter. That you should remove your hand from all this kind of happy party. Don't associate yourself with all those useless boys. Don't ever see yourself wanting to have unwanted pregnancy. In fact, my desire for you is to have a good husband. The husband that we know can aspire to become a governor. <laughs> That's my prayer for you. That when you are doing that marriage, you will start to be big and robust. We will be proud of you. Hmm? Not for you to put your hand in things that will make you become nothing in the society. Hmm? Papa, I will surely make you feel <laughs> That's why I don't know that. Where are you going with this bag? Is there any problem? I sense there is problem. What is it? My father asked me to leave the house. What? Leave the house to me? Where are you heading to now, my dear? How could Zeribe do such a thing to his daughter? He's only a, a child for that matter. Eh? Wow. That's madness. I think it has to eh? do with Arise's denial of the pregnancy. But it has not got into that now. Eh? My fellow woman, I, need, I think we need to go and talk to that Agnes. Better. It's a good idea. Let's go, Let's go straight to her house. Yes.
my my father chased me out from the house. Oh my god. Why would he do such a thing? Where does he want you to go? Mama, I don't know. I don't know where to run to. Arinza has killed me. Arinza, okay. Maria. It's okay. It's okay. Enne, it's okay. Come sit down first. Sit. Sit. Let's think of what to do. Enne, it's okay. No. Let's go. Let's go. It's okay. Enne, it's okay. Don't worry. Let's we'll think of what to do. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Who are you? Welcome. Thank you. Agnes, huh? I can't believe that your husband did such a thing and did nothing to stop him. What is it? You send your only child away. Is it fair? Who are you? Is it fair? Eh? Agnes. Agnes. Huh? Children are a gift from Chukwoki. No matter how they come. Remember you are a woman and a mother. Why chase your pregnant daughter away from the house? I did not send her away. Her father did. And I have begged and begged and begged. But it seems that whenever I beg, he became more angry. What else do you want me to do? Huh? You have to do something. Yeah. You have to do something. Bring back your, your child back in the, in the house. Because you carried her in your womb for good nine months. How can you allow your husband to do such a thing and you realize? Are you not a woman? Eh? I don't know how possible that is. Because he had already warned her not to step her feet into her compound. What else do you want me to do? I am confused. Now, where is she heading to? We have to go after her and bring her back to the house. Anyway, we will start going. We are coming from the mission and we met your daughter on the way. Then we decided to come and see you. Question with question, what is Oluchi doing there? Mama, she was chased away by her parents because, because of. of are you the one that got her pregnant? Mama, she's my friend, my best friend, and you know. She has a problem around to me. What do you expect me to do? Drive her away. Yes, I know. Is it not that Oluchi that got pregnant out of wedlock? Mama, you surprise me. Why are you sounding like this? Is Oluchi my best friend we are talking about here? She's not going to stay in this house. That is final. Mama. I have said it. That is final. How can I possibly do that to my best friend? She will not stay in this house. I have said my own and that is final. Mama. Mama. Oluchi, I don't know how to say this. I don't know. Amara, I, I understand. I already know what the problem is. Your mother wants me to leave. Please forgive me, my friend. If I had the power, I would have asked you to stay here with me. But I have no power to do that. It is not your fault. A good friend is better than a bad sister. You are my best friend and I don't regret knowing you. 
How will you go from here now? Where? Mama, I don't know. I shall go and find a place to rest my head before my falls. What do you want from me? Oh, did you miss your way? Mama, please, hear me out. I know you are a woman like me, and you can understand me better, please, Mama. Understand what? You have the temerity to accuse my only son of getting you pregnant. You walk to this company again. I say I will understand. Understand what? I did not lie against Arinze. Mama, Arinze is the only man I have known all my life. Mama, Arinze took my virginity. Now I see you are mad. Now come back and leave this place. Before I will be forced to take care of that, your madness. Mama, it's wrong with my life. Arinze is responsible for my pregnancy. Let me warn you. Again, my son is not responsible for your pregnancy. <laughs> okay, Mama. I agree with you. Please, can you help me hang around your house? After I deliver the child, I will find anywhere I, I will take my child to. My father chased me out from the house. Okay, Mama. I agree with you. Please, Mama. If I have lied against any of you, please, Mama, mm -hmm. forgive me. Mm -hmm. Now you know that you are lying. Eh? Wait, oh, I'm coming.
You are calling your daughter Abby? That child who has brought shame to my family. No matter what, she is still our child. Don't you know how long it took us to get her? Eh? Mm, that is what you are saying. That same child that you are referring to has brought disgrace to my family. He has thrown the name of my family into the mud. Forget it. That is the person you are telling me to recognize Forget that child. one. Forget that one. If you don't want to bring her back, then get ready to drive me out of your house. No matter how painful a mosquito bite is, there is no way you will kill a mosquito with a machete. Yes. Anyway, woman, I don't have your time. I have more important things to go and deal with. Huh? Okay? You can. You are not going anywhere. Don't tell me uh, that. What's the meaning of this? You are not going anywhere. Leave my, leave I my not, clothes. I will not leave. I said you should leave my clothes. You are not going anywhere. I said you should leave my clothes. Don't tell me that. Though. You are not going anywhere.
only doctor. My only child. My only child is gone. She is gone. What am I doing still alive? Dad, come and take me. Dad, take me. Take me. You cannot be like this. You cannot do such a thing. We know how you feel. Yes, we do. Please pull yourself together. Oh. How? Oh, did I offend you? The only reason for me to live is God. Let me die. I don't know who I have offended. No, you did not offend anything. Just take that. Why me? Why are this? Why is he? Please stop crying. I'm sure God knows why it happened like this. Oh. Um, Agnes, please take heart. Be God, take heart. It is only God in heaven that knows why it happened like this. Uh, exactly. There is nothing we can do. We cannot pressure him. Uh, be a man you are. Please, take heart, Pico. So, what next? Let us organize the youth so that they can go to the backyard and dig the grave where we bury her. Grave what? Grave? No. No. I'm taking her to the mortuary. <laughs> yes. yes. I have said that and you cannot change it. Hey! Let me go with her up. to call and inform me. So Oluchi is dead. Oluchi is dead, my sister. That is what we saw. No wonder she refused to follow me to the city. Who knew she was pregnant? She didn't even know she was pregnant. It was when I raised her bad dog her that she found out. Where is the Arinza? Arinza is nowhere to be found. But my husband has reported the case to Omar. They will deliberate on it today. Deliberate what? Why not go with the police and pay that idiot wherever he is? <sighs> well, however, my husband is supposed to be here with me. But he traveled to Lagos. He was invited by the American Embassy for an interview. And she is not your Sister, sorry. Take out, oh? Because you will not. I'm telling him that I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't have time. Is there any place? Somebody who cannot control the daughter and control the daughter. The useless, irresponsible. Huh? No, daughter continues to go about Holy the family. Irresponsible, Excuse foolish family. Enough of these squabbles. Have we all gathered here to stop quarreling like children? Get involved in fracas? We are men. And we should sit here and reason like men. Not just men. Elderly men. So that we can look into this issue and settle it once and for all. Um, Zeribe, mm -hmm. we quite understand how you feel as at now. But please, calm down. We shall get to the roots of everything. Calm down. Why are you asking me to calm down? Eh? 
Anthony's son killed my daughter. And you are telling me I should calm down. Look, look, let me tell you something. You are drunk. And I can see that very clearly. Zeribe, you are drunk. How can my son kill your daughter who killed herself out of promiscuity? Your son, Arinze, got my daughter pregnant and denied it. And that's what led to the death of my daughter. You are a madman, Ibu You are yeah. mad. You are mad too. Zeribe, you are mad. It's enough. Huh? Calm down, both of you. Calm down. Just as uh, Iche Adibe said, huh? let us reason this uh, issue like men. Uh, you have sent your, the, the course of your daughter to Montreal, right? Yes, sir. Then, tell us why you gather us. My daughter cannot just die like that. Oh. Yes. If I do not do anything about it, then it means I'm not worthy to be called a father. So, what do you intend to do now? Yes. Okay. Anthony's son must come before the gods of the land to swear to an oath that he has no hand in the pregnancy of my daughter, which led to her death. What the hell? What the hell are you talking about? You heard me right. You heard me damn right. I trust my daughter. My daughter has never told me lies. If you trust your son, then let him come before the gods of the land. He has to answer that he has no hand in what happened to my daughter. Are you not taking this matter too far? Yes, I am taking it far. I am taking it far. In fact, you have not seen anything yet. My daughter's corpse is lying in the mortuary. And you are here sitting down telling me that I'm taking it too far. This is just the beginning. It is the tip of the iceberg. Arinze must take an oath before the gods of this land. Iafo. Yes. Well and good. Now, my son will take the oath. Yes. Yes, my son will take the oath. And if my son, hear me and hear me very clearly. If my son takes the oath and the gods of our land, the for vindicates my son, then Zeribe, Zeribe will settle my son with whatsoever that my son chooses to be settled. Yes, he has to come and take the oath before the gods of the land, Iafo. And if he is vindicated, uh -huh, whatever he says that I should do, I, in Zeribe, I'll be willing to do it. How are you? No, hey, welcome. Um, you are yeah, welcome. Please be very careful. All right. Uh, but then the big question is who broke the calabash? So, what are you saying? Your question. 
was. If I am supporting the motion that he should swear. Yes. If he is, is this to prove his innocence. Hmm? If he is, he is innocent, let him come and swear. I didn't. I don't see anything in it. But oath or not, we not bring back uh, Arinze's daughter. Why not leave this oath taken? You are right. But in another way, eh? It will help to data and strike fear into the minds of all these small boys and girls in this village running around venturing into premature sex. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> My brother, you are right. You see, the way children of nowadays behave, eh? He hmm. first one to ask what become the next generation. Oh, it is in the hands of God. Let's go. <laughs> okay, uh, Anthony and the uh, uh, Zeri. They are probably in this community. What is all this that you are doing to yourself? Eh? What is all this? Do you want to die before your time? When I grow old, my children will take care of me. That is the prayer of the parents. God bless the newborn child. Where is my child? Oh, she made the choice. Eh? She made the choice. What did you not do for her? The little money, we used it to take care of her. Eh? My child just left me die. My only daughter is lying there in the mortuary. Let me just die. Yeah. Yeah. She said you did that. Me now. Die. Die and go so that you will leave me alone to face my feet. Yeah. See, there's something I have to explain. That person that is responsible for the pregnancy of me, that person cannot go unpunished. To swear an oath that he has no hand on the death of our daughter. See, if I have to hunt him to his grave, I will ensure I do that. Yes, I will. Hmm? <sighs> How could you? Hmm? How could you uh, make such decision? Hmm? What would I have done, woman? Well, I think what I did is the best I can do. Hey, Nani, for your only son to go and stand before the great Iafo to take an oath, is that what you think is the best? But uh, the oath taken is just to prove his innocence. Now, whether old or not, Arisa is already innocent. I know that he's innocent. Yes, woman, I know my son. My son is innocent because I know the kind of son that I have. But he has to take the oath because I want to prove to Nzeribe and his people that my son is a well brought up son, a very responsible son from a responsible family. So. He has to take the oath. Hey, Nai, but you can do something to stop it now. Nai, I think they will not take that oath. He will not take it. No, woman, it's too late. It's already too late. The date for the oath taking has been fixed. And Arise has to hurry up very quickly and return as quickly as possible to come and take the oath. No, that is not possible. It's not possible. Arisa is not going to take any. And that is woman Good business with elders and the year for uh, business. A uh, woman, please. <clears throat> I'm very hungry now. Please, please, please go and get my food. Let me eat, woman. That is your own portion. 
cooking food and giving to your mate. It's not putting your mouth and this thing inside the matters that are concerning your yam. Your, your, your. Papa, you just have to believe me. I did not do it. I have no idea of what that girl is talking about. Nay, did you hear it? I told you our son cannot do such a thing. I told you I know the kind of son I have. Uh, not that I didn't believe him in the first place. Uh, but one has to be absolutely sure. Because when a child is crying and pointing to a particular place, if the father is not there, the mother will be there. But you're saying all these things because you've seen us working together and discussing. Not once, not twice. Papa, I know, but we're just friends. I'm not seeing more to it. You know you will stand before the shrine of a year for but to state that you have nothing to do with the late Oluchi. Nay, why are you sounding like this? I bet, uh, woman, you don't understand what I'm talking about. Nay, I understand everything. Anyway, I they will take the oath just to prove Nzoribe and his family wrong. But after this oath, Nzoribe will feel our heat. Are you sure you want to do it? Do what? Take the oath before the great year. Of course I'm very sure I want to do it. I want to show my parents that I'm very, very innocent. Hmm? Yes. You want to show your parents that you are very innocent or you are innocent? Anyhow you want to say it, I've told you. I hope you are not making a mistake. Listen, I know that both of you were in love. And there is no way you can tell me that all this while, you know, that you people never heard anything like... Uh, uh, Whatever you must have heard, what we had was a holy relationship. And you of all people should know that. I know, I know, but you are no longer a kid, a bad dot. So there is no way you can you can put a goat where there is yam. A same na goat eri leji. Yeah, for we are talking about. It's a dangerous deity that doesn't compromise. I will advise you to go home. Biko, as a good friend, Biko, go home. Have a rethink. Sleep over it. Then you can, you can just think. So that maybe from tomorrow you can tell me uh, that you are no longer interested to go and take the oath before you have. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, how is it? Child. Oh. Hmm. Anyway. Oh, God, I'm not. Okay, then why did you accept? Eh? Don't you know that going to the city will automatically separate our love? In year four, I kneel before you today. And I say, if I'm responsible for Ibluchi's pregnancy that led to her death. As I take this oath, Yafo, strike me to death.
to the dream about. Papa, I've never been to Iya for Shrine before. Hmm? But I saw myself at Iya for Shrine taking an oath. Uh huh? Yes. Really? Oh, and Papa. the most funniest part of it is that I took the oath and nothing happened to me. Good. Very good, my son. <laughs> good. I know that you are innocent. And that nothing will happen to my son because I know the son I have. Anyway, that notwithstanding, I want to ask you again Are you prepared for the oath taking? Because uh, uh, tomorrow is there for day, and uh, is the oath taking day proper? That year for shrine. Papa, I took the oath in my dream and nothing happened to me. So I will, I will, I will prove it. I am ready to take the oath. Good. Uh, you have not been to year for shrine before. Oh. And you don't know the ways of the deity. Mm -hmm. You see, anyone who has to swear at the shrine of a year for must go there without attire. The person has to go there naked. But wait, all these things you're saying now, is it going to happen in the broad light or in the night? Because I can't imagine me a reason going to you for sure and to swear, be naked. It would happen in the broad daylight. You're going to be naked and go to the shrine and broad daylight and that is the only way you can prove Papa, I, 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 wait, wait, I'll be naked in front of the elders and they'll be fooling me back yes. and I'll be naked that's the only way you can prove your innocence hmm. my son so that is why I'm asking if you are prepared so get yourself prepared careful what you say be careful what you
Côté 